There's a very special whale called the right whale that has a very special blowhole. So everybody show me two fingers like this. Put a V-shape on top of your head. Now when the water and the air come out of that right whale's head, it comes out in a spiral like this. Wow, that blowhole. That's right. So that blowhole looks like that. And it's the only whale in the whole world that has a special bifurcated blowhole. Can you say that big word bifurcated? Bifurcated. All it means is this. Take your finger. Feel this little piece of skin right here that's called a septum. Now on either side, you have a hole so you can breathe. That's what a blowhole looks like. But the right whale is the only one that has that very special one. So if you were to see a whale that has two streams of water coming out of the top of its head in a spiral like this, you could point to it and say, that's the right whale, and you would be right. Now, back in the days of the tall, tall ship, sailors would go out to sea, and they would go hunting for whales, and they would spend hours in the bow of the boat, with their hands over their eyes, trying to see, keep the sun from reflecting off the water, looking for whales. If that didn't work, they'd go all the way up to the top of the crow's nest and they'd stand up there for hours just looking around for whales. Swallow that huge mouthful of food 
with however chew in their dinner. And you can try it. Yeah, you can. Now that it's, you know, getting nice and warm outside, you can do this outside. Get yourself a mouth of water and then go outside and close your teeth, your front teeth, down against your lower lip and use your tongue to push the water out through your teeth. Well, if you've got cracks between your teeth, all that water will go out through the cracks between your teeth. But if you have something in your mouth, like a piece of gum or a piece of food or something, it'll get stuck on the back of your teeth and you'll know exactly how they lean. Now I need you to help me with this song because I have to play the guitar. So show me three fingers on each hand for the wind. Say, in this windy old weather, stormy old weather, when the wind blows, we'll all sail together. Now put those whales in the ocean waves. And don't forget about the dolphins because they are whales too. Now before we sing this song, if on the count of three, you say the name of the instrument that Greg is playing. Ready? One, two, three. Well, it is not an accordion, but it is a member of the accordion. It's called a concertina. Can you say that? Now, I'll tell you a quick little story. We were on our way here. We were caught in a terrible traffic jam. I was driving, and Greg was sitting next to me, and he said, you know what, Terry? We could have a traffic jam inside the car. And he pulled out his concertina, and he did this. He said, here's a Cadillac. Here's our old 66 Bayon station wagon. Along came a French Citroen. It's so French, don't you think? And then this huge truck tried to pass me. We need to ride our bikes. We need to go for hikes and go down to the shore and look at the shells. And we need to get out of this car. You're right. You're so right, Terry. More walking. Yes. I was walking the other day. Excellent. Yes. In a parking lot. Uh, Greg, you're supposed to walk in a park, not a parking lot. Yeah, but I, I, I had to park the car, so I had to walk from the okay, car. Okay, so what happened? What happened? Well, I walked past this really fancy car. I don't know what it was. I think it was a Maserati or something. Because I walked past it, I did not touch it. I promise you, I did not touch that car, but as soon as I walked past it, the alarm went off. Step away from the vehicle. It actually said that to me. It said, step away from the vehicle. So naturally, I had to call Terry on the cell phone. But his silliest thing of all, and because you're such a great audience, he said, he thinks, he can be Darth Vader with the concert team, but you have to be real quiet like you are.
Earth Day.